Hello everybody, my name is Simon Connaughton and I am an ultra runner based in Ireland. Going forward, we have just booked ourselves in for the Kerry Way 200k in September the 1st. This will be my third time taking on this race and I'm super excited. This will be the journey to the 200 and we will bring you along everything from today right up until race day. So if you are watching and you like the video, subscribe, follow the journey along and we'll commit to bringing you a vlog every Sunday of how our week has gone in preparation for the Kerry Way Ultra between now and September the 1st. We've got some pretty cool stuff lined up. We're gonna to go to Health Matters to get our VO2 max done and our metabolic testing done to see where we kind of stand and what kind of uh, carbs per hour we use. And what we'll do as well, which will be super interesting, is to see how accurate that is compared to the data that I've been using based on my own training. And I'll bring you along to show you how I do that. We will also bring you along when I get my next strength assessment done to see what areas I need to bridge the gap. The strength work that I've been doing for the last block, I really, really noticed it in the Eco Trail and I couldn't believe the difference that it made to my pre, during and post of the Ultra. So this is something that I really will be um, zoning in on for the Kerry Way to make sure that I'm as strong as possible going into that race. It is Sunday afternoon and we're heading out for an aerobic mountain bike ride. The bike always brings a nice flavour to the training. It's a good bit different than running, but it also is very challenging. Mine is really good conditioning for the legs. It's always challenging cardiovascular. Mountain bikes don't move very fast, especially with a headwind up a hill. Now we're talking on some trails. So when I raced Kerry Way the first time, it was 2021. I'd actually only been running three years, so I was very inexperienced. Didn't really know what I was getting myself in for. And I ended up DNFing after 100K. Something to do with my shoes, and it pretty much peeled my toenail back off my big toe. Uh, when that happened, I ran an extra 20k on it, and between the jigs and the rails, I couldn't keep going, so I ended up stopping. So, coming back to Kerryway this year with two more years training under my belt, as I didn't do it last year as I was injured, I, I guess my main rooted goal is to beat my time from two years ago. Um, be able to run consistently for the whole 200 kilometers holding an average pace so, again we'll make predictions closer to the time but for now that's my why and that's what we're moving forward with in this train block Kerryway actually has a a big place in my heart just for the size of the challenge and the fact that it's in our home country on some of the most beautiful train in the world that I've ever ran on. But it was kind of like why I got into running really and the trail scene. I used to have a boss, Baz, who's actually crewing for me this year. And he used to tell me about it. And I thought he was fucking insane. Uh, and that was my draw ultra running I always wanted to compete at that event I always wanted to do it just to, like sheer rawness of it just always interested me so now we're going back to the third time Good afternoon, good day. What I noticed since I came back from the Eco Trail was one of the things. Come on, Rocky! One of the things I noticed in the trail since my ankle injury is that my proprioception is still not 100%. I find instead of looking like eight foot in front of myself where my feet are going to land, I'm more direct vision at the ground. And I was noticing that because I didn't notice the trails that I had to be really cautious of looking after my ankle and my foot placement 
but also making sure I was going the right direction. Um, this is one of the things that I've noticed that has lingered since my injury. It's mad the things that we don't notice our body does that we take for granted, like knowing our foot placement, say two or three foot steps ahead of our ahead of the one we're at. It's mind bound. I have some tricks up my sleeve though to try and make it work a bit better. We had to cut our dog jog slightly shorter for our uh, Rocky is <laughs> getting a bit old. He's not able for the jogging in the heat especially. So we still got a half an hour in, uh, 7k, happy with that. We are just about to do a track set. I haven't done a track set in a few months, just with the way training has been and what we've been focusing on. It should be interesting. I am wearing the Hoka Rockets. I've had them for a long time now and haven't really got to use them that much. So today is a great opportunity to use them. There we have it, 800 meter little shakeout, easy warm up run. Now we're going to get into the dynamic warm up and then we'll get into the main set. Warm up is done, quick round of dynamic warm up movements. Now we move into the main set. We're doing three 200s at 3K pace with 20 seconds rest, straight into one 600 at 5K pace with a two minute rest. And we get that done six times. There we have it, six reps done. I actually found that set a lot harder than I thought I was gonna find it. Uh, I went out way too fast in the first four. I actually, co actually contemplated quitting. Uh, I had a right L talk to myself after the fourth rep. I lowered my paces and I got it done. I'm super happy. And even though I lowered my paces, I think my 200s were off by two seconds and my 5K 600 was off by like three seconds. But actually the feeling and how it made me feel, it made a massive difference to me getting it done. So used my own coaching on myself and it worked. Ah, it's Saturday, time for the mountains. Hi Pete! <laughs> 